So the last thing that I want to cover, uh, and tell me if I'm missing anything, um, we can cover anything you like, um, is shared calendars. Yes, this is important. So I'm going to hit this little open a shared calendar section, and let me see. I'm not sure if, Kaylee, if your calendar shared to me or not on this demo account. Sure. Let me see. Checking the permission is going to tell me to go pound sand if they don't. Go pound sand. <laughs> oh, it did. Okay. No, we must have set it up. Yeah. earlier. All right. Okay, notice something interesting here, though. Um, notice that it, I don't, I just see that Kaylee's busy. Yes. Yep. Okay. Not all of my appointments that are on there just say busy <laughs> on my calendar. <laughs> right, right, yeah. <laughs> so why is that, Kaylee? Why is it showing up as busy? Well, that usually means that the permission that I allowed him to have just meant that he could see when I was not available and when I was busy, but not necessarily see what I was doing, mm -hmm. um, which can be helpful depending on who you're giving access to. You know, if, if you want your receptionist to know when you can't take calls, but you don't want her to know every single meeting that you have for the day, mm -hmm. this is very helpful. Yes. So I think one of the things that's important to kind of see here is it has it in different colors. So my calendar appointments are in blue and hers right. are in green. Now it's hard to see that because I'm doing the screen sharing. So it's very faded out, but trust me, they are green. Um, oh, wow. It's, it, it, seems, it looks yellow. <laughs> yeah, it does kind of look yellowy, but over here you can kind of see what color it's supposed to be. Yes. Um, so I think I can change... Uh, or calendar here. Yeah, color. Yep, right there. There. So I should say, no, I want it to be pink. Red. You want pink? Oh, We're going to give pink. it to you in pink. There you go. Here's your pink. pink. Now they all see it. They all changed. Yes. So it's easy for me to tell. Okay, there's the team huddle, which is our color, my color, which is gray, um, which I'm not a big fan of. It, it it looks great, but it's actually blue. That's funny. It's a blue, that. yeah. Isn't that that weird? is funny. That doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> well, it, it's it's again that screen sharing is changing the colors. Yeah. Oh, I see. But the the top the dentist and test and wax the cat looks blue. Yes, that's because I put a category on it. Oh, true, true. Okay. Oh, yeah. so okay, that's that's interesting as well. Yeah, that's the it bolded them in that color yeah I put a category on it okay now one of the things that's kind of nice is uh, when you hit the organize tab so you by default you're on home right here if I go to organize this is where I can say you know what I don't want to overlay it see it's overlaid so I can uncheck this and now it's gonna break out the calendars for Kaylee and me um, they're not gonna be one piece yeah so uh, so if we're doing overlay uh, which is a big feature that I want to show, I can, I can pick whether I want our calendars, which uh, right now it's not overlaying for the week. I can pick this. So one of the things that we were noticing is if you hit overlay to do it in the month view, it won't split it out into calendars. It only yeah. does it when you're on the week view and you hit overlay. It'll split it out. So strange. Yeah, I guess that's a Mac thing. Wow. Or maybe it's just bugging, but yeah. I can go to the different views. But in, yeah. in Outlook, I can, under month view, I can change the overlay to not overlay. That's interesting. Right. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, overlay is really helpful just because it depends on how you want to look at somebody else's calendar compared right. to yours it could be you want them to be seen together because they kind of coexist in a way like for bobby's calendar when i pull his up i always want it to really overlay because i'm trying to find the gap between my schedule and his schedule right. you know to then schedule something else but if you just want to see what they're doing to off to the side, then you would definitely want it to be separated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. It's just, there's little nuances and differences. So there really are. Um, I, I guess the, the answer is you, you go to month view 
you go find the week that you want, like this week here, which is the week of the 13th, I can go back to week view, click here, right? I'm in here, yeah. and then I can say, okay, I want to turn my overlay off. And, I can and then it shows. View. Yeah. Interesting. Very mm. interesting. Um, lastly, I want to show how you can do the permissions. So let's say that we're going to share our calendar with Kaylee, right? And I go to sharing permissions here. And right now, it is just all it is is user by organizer. So I can hit add, and I can add Kaylee here. And I hit uh, permission, can view all details. Mm, so here's so the difference. This is what we were talking about earlier. Right. So here's where this comes down to what we were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. Can view when I'm busy. So mm -hmm. that's how Kaylee has it to me. So it's just going to show busy, 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 busy. But it's not going to say, uh, you know, I'm going to get my arm so sewed off. You know, <laughs> off. Uh, you know, you don't, you may not want to know, or the people that are seeing your calendar and know what you're doing. You just want to know right. that they, they can't schedule something at that point. So this is a great one you can do. So you can say, I want them to view when I'm busy, but that's it, right? Or you could say, view the title and location, but that's it. They can't see the notes. They won't see like the team's meeting information that's in there, any of that stuff. Right. Or then you can say, they can view the detail, or you can say, you know what? I want them to be able to edit any appointments. Maybe I want Kaylee to move stuff around for me to change yeah. my appointments. Maybe I want to delegate permission. In other words, she can send out invites as me. Yeah. And give her the capability to do that. Yeah. Um, and then um, I'm not sure what the private events are. I've never really utilized that one. I've always just hung out in these areas. That's interesting. I'm, well, I think there are certain appointments that you can make that actually if you click um, on a lock little icon, it makes it private. So, um, yeah, so like if it's saying, if it, if it'll say like view all details, I'm not a hundred percent sure if it will show you, um, private events. Um, okay. you've done it to me before because, um, I have access to Bobby's calendar actually, and I have edit. Um, so I'm allowed to edit his calendar, move things around. I can't send things as him, but there are certain ones that Bobby has that are in green that say private to me and it doesn't show anything. So it's really interesting. I thought you were just like trying to find a new daughter and you yeah, didn't want me to know. That's what it was. So I never brought it up. <laughs> we, we've got it narrowed down to a few people. Oh, we're great. Pretty, we're pretty excited. Great. Um, <laughs> I, I've never noticed that private. Really? No. Never. Yeah, it can be helpful if um, so. So this is an example. It, even as somebody who has editing capability um, to your whole calendar, can s still cannot see private. Wow, events. I learned something new while I was teaching. Yeah, isn't the world great? And the only reason I know that is because I have permission to your calendar, and that's happened to me before. <laughs> yeah, my guess is those are probably events that I've been invited to that were for maybe guests or outside the organization and it just right. created them as private because private. Um, I wonder if they're private too, if it's like an invitation that I haven't accepted yet. Well, I know for me, I can see when you haven't accepted an invitation to another. Hmm. Yeah. I want to like, see what those are. Let me know when you, if you see any more, I want to see what, how they got okay. created because I'm not the doing ones, it by default. Yeah. The ones that I had recently were um, Fridays and they were reoccurring on Fridays for you. I think it was Friday mornings. I really don't have anything we're doing on Friday. I don't know if that helps, but could it have been your men's group? I don't have anything that's recurring on Friday. Oh. I'm aware of. It was in the past, so it, they don't show up anymore. Okay. Oh, your physical therapy? That must have been it. Is that what it is? So I think mom probably, um, my mother, <laughs> probably invited you to that. So yeah. I wonder if I didn't see that for some reason. Yeah. Hmm. Right. Yeah. Maybe we can dive more into that in another section. Talk about that more. So that's why, and again, re like going back to the options that you can choose, that is why I believe you can choose delegate and they can also view private events. That's literally giving access to like a, 
anything. Like they yeah. have access to literally every single thing on your calendar, even things that you are specifically trying to make private to them. They can still even see those. Right. So, yeah. So that's like maybe like a really epic, um, <laughs> like assistant <laughs> that just needs to be with you every second or something. Like Next that. level. Next level assistant. Well, I hope this was helpful. Uh, that's all I got, Kaylee, for, for the, just the basic calendar and, and options. It's funny. I learned some stuff through this while we were doing it and talking. Um, yeah. I, I think they're doing this. It shows that the Outlook version is, in my opinion, feature rich. Mm -hmm. But if I was on a Mac, I would still consider possibly using the web version of Outlook. And this brings, brings up a great topic <laughs> of our next webinar that we are going to be doing is a head-to-head -head battle <laughs> of Outlook on the desktop application versus Outlook on the webmail or your browser. Right. So, which you're have, a huge advocate of. I am a, yes, I am an avid webmail user. <laughs> which I feel like anyone that uses it on the Windows side, and is it's just un-American. It's un-American. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's just un-American. It's so funny. Yeah. Um, so there are a lot of similarities between, but also a lot of differences that I've learned yeah. um, throughout my time using it. So um, I'm very curious on, I feel like um, I might win this battle for some people, but other people are, be, are going what, to be What like, battle are you yeah. talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> the battle between me and you. <laughs> the battle between Outlook, Desktop, there, there's not going to be a battle. <laughs> there's going to be just a parking lot paved, and you're going to be you're going to be under it. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. I well, guess I mean, you guys will have to come to find out. Yeah, I think so. I think we should have. Uh, we should we should put the gloves on and go at it. Yeah, I agree. I, I agree. Uh, I feel like there's there really isn't many scenarios where the webmail is is. Uh, is a valid choice. I mean, there are some, but uh, I think in pretty much every category, I'm going to